It's summer in California. That means fire and widespread devastation. Hundreds of square miles of it. Drones are the new weapon to help fight the flames. Instead of sending ground crews into dangerous conditions or using helicopters that can't fly in heavy smoke, drones are taking photos and sending live videos of fires and their aftermath. Menlo Park Fire in California, in the heart of Silicon Valley, is one of the nation's first fire departments to use drones. They're regularly called on to help fight California's long wildfire season. Drones also create detailed 360-degree aerial images to map burned-out areas after the fires pass through. With a drone, we get darn near the same level of capabilities without putting a person in, a, in an aircraft, which is incredibly expensive. The drone is very low cost relative to what you get back. Cameras on the drone give pilots a bird's eye view so crews can see things like the hottest part of the fire, whether or not a fire has crossed a containment line, or if people are in danger. In this training demo, pilots use a thermal camera to see people through smoke inside a five-story building. I'm going to switch over to thermal view. And suddenly now, we can see that we have at least two individuals inside this room. Drones can also measure wind speed and direction, so crews can predict what a fire might do next. All of our pilots, when they're on duty, have these DJI Mavics with them. And um, this one's wrapped, so um, it stands out as a fire department aircraft. And then we have, you know, chargers, spare batteries that we keep with it. And this is what's on our engines on a daily basis. Larger drones are also a key part of the arsenal. They can fly for up to 40 minutes, double the time of many smaller drones. As well as cameras, they can carry other items like an LED light to illuminate a scene at night. Some of our drones can carry 10 pounds or more, so the ability to fly things like a life jacket, a radio, a space blanket, that could actually make a difference. Seconds matter. But flying a drone and working out what's happening on screen isn't easy, especially if you're in a high-stress situation like a fire. With a free app called First Response from Edgy Bees, details like road names, wind speed and crew locations are overlaid on the drone image, so pilots don't have to cross-reference another map. The California Air National Guard is using the MQ-9 Reaper this summer. It's a military drone that flies for hours to identify where the fire has jumped containment lines and houses in the fire's path. Oh. The US government has contracted four companies to fly fixed-wing drones to fight fires on federal land. This frees up resources like helicopters for water drops. And fire crews aren't the only ones flying drones to fight wildfires. Some utilities like San Diego Gas and Electric are inspecting the power grid from the sky with drones. These third-party drones have LiDAR on board, similar to the technology used in self-driving cars, and generate 3D maps of potential issues like damaged power poles and lines. In the future, drones may truly be the first responders. By having a drone automatically launch, go line of sight to a call, send that information back, we can actually evaluate the scene and decide, do we need to escalate our response, de-escalate our response? While over 180 US fire departments are beginning to use drones, widespread adoption is still up in the air. They're still working out all the rules, you know, the FAA on how this all works. But we're happy that in this area, we're not being ignored. Having another set of eyes in the sky is an invaluable tool to help win the battle against wildfires and to save lives.